Hi guys and girls and welcome back to Dr. Dave. So we're going to be talking about sped it up, putting loads into Euro Truck or American Truck Simulator. So if you Google sped it up, the first link that comes up is virtual sped it up. Scroll down the page, find the version 204 for ATS and ETS 132. This only works for the freight market. You can't use your own trailers with this, unfortunately. Hopefully it'll be something that comes in the future. So... Once you go onto the little gold link there, it'll bring you to the A drive, which will then automatically start downloading Speditor for you. So once you've done that, you're going to need a program like 7-Zip or WinRAR to extract the folders. So once you've done that, create a folder on the desktop called Speditor, as you can see, I've already done so. So all you do is create the folder by right clicking, going to new and then folder, rename it Speditor, come back to your extraction folder, control A, copy this, drop it onto the folder, it will extract everything from here to there. Once you have done that, you go into the folder, you scroll down the list, you find virtual Speditor, right click, create a shortcut and plonk it on the desktop. So once you've done all of that, you're gonna to need to go into the game first so you've got both your files there then you're going to want to go into the game so let's quickly go back you're going to need to go to the options go to keys and buttons scroll all the way down to the bottom and find your quick save and quick load set the buttons on your secondary so you're going to set these either on your keyboard your mouse if you've got extra buttons button box steering wheel etc once you've done that you can come out of the game go back to drive and then once you're in your truck you're going to want to click the quick save button that you have just mapped to your keyboard or whatever then once you've done your quick save you're going to go alt and tab go back to speditor and you're going to hit the load button once you've hit the load button it will come up and it will tell you where you are it's telling me i'm currently in london i'm not in london at the moment i am in calais so then we'll put this to calais and then we're going to go companies we're going to go to stokes and then we're going to go to rotterdam to wgcc and then we're going to choose the helicopter and then we're going to click add cargo so you need to make sure that you go from the destination your source will be the place where you are then you'll pick the the company you're going to pick up from then the destination then the company you're going to drop off to then your load so you go top bottom top bottom top once you've done that add the cargo hit the save button and it will come up file saved then you're going to go back to Eurotruck and you're going to hit the quick load button then it will bring your load into the game so for me I add iced coffee I believe so I'm gonna it's telling me that my load is gonna be at London waiting for me so you click London and somewhere along the line here we go canned iced coffee so there's the load that I'm gonna be picking up it's obviously in London and I'm in Calais so I'm gonna set the GPS then I'm going to do a quick jump by going to Garage Manager. We're going to go to London and then we're going to quick travel. Yes, I want a quick travel. And then we're going to back the truck out of the work, uh, the workshop. Well, not technically workshop. It's more like a your own personal garage for storing your trucks and whatever else. Don't worry about the traffic lights or the traffic. We're going to go down to cell plant. And we're going to go to the freight market and we've got iced coffee going from London to Calais. So we could take that load or not take that load and then we'll back the truck up a little bit. 
and I'll show you again how to put another load in. We're now in London, so remember you're going to click the quick save button and then you're going to go back to Speditor. When your Speditor first loads up, obviously none of this below will be there. You're going to need to go to the three little dots, you go to this PC. And then you'll go to documents and then you'll go down euro truck simulator profiles then find the profile that you want to run the speditor on like i said please make sure that you hit the quick save button first before coming over to do this part because otherwise you won't have a quick save folder you'll just have auto saves and it needs to be there you need a quick save so go into the game set your buttons hit the quick save button and then once you find a quick save, you just click OK. I've already done it, so I don't need to. So we're going to load the, the last quick save I did. And it's now telling me that I'm in London, which is correct this time. So we're going to go sell plan. And we're going to go Rotterdam again, which is taking us to Sam Builders. And we're going to pick up the helicopter. Add cargo. Remember, top, bottom, top, bottom, top. Once the file was saved, you then go back to your Euro truck and then you hit the quick load option, find your quick load, load it up. <laughs> Typical. All right, let's try that again. Sometimes the uh, the old quick load don't want to work, which is a bit of a pain in the bum. And again, right. So let's um, let's drive around to. Actually, we can F seven to the spanner and see if it will load from there. Right, so now it's deciding to be a pain in the ass. Let's delete this quick save. Yes. We'll do another, do another save. See if we can get it to run it again. So sometimes it is the loads that you're taking that, uh, you know, sometimes it doesn't want to pick that particular load um go to calais and we'll take the transformer this time let's see if that one works go back to the game hopefully it will load up again this time Right, so it's loaded. So we pick the transformer. There's the transformer, London to Calais. So set the GPS. Obviously, I'm not in London right now. I'm in Calais. So we'll just jump to London. Right, so we're now at London, and we're just going to go round to the going to run round to cell plan and show you that the load is actually there.
And there's the transformer. And there's the front end of my truck gone. So it's pretty much as straightforward as that. Like I said, you need to go into the options. You need to go to keys and buttons. Wrong one. So yeah, go to your keys and buttons. You need to make sure that you set your quick save and quick load buttons first before you even think about touching the speditor. Then come to the speditor, go to here, and then obviously go pick this PC, documents, American uh, Euro Truck Simulator, profiles, the profile you want to use, find the quick save folder, click OK. It will then load up the rest of this. Once you've done your quick load, then you hit the load button on here, then it will reset, say in London, like I said, you click the cell plan, and then Le Mans, and then, I don't know, um, BHV, cottage cheese, add cargo, save, go back into the game, and then you can right click, well not right click but I've got um, additional buttons on my mouse and hit the load button and then hopefully we'll have another load there but like I said sometimes it does have a bit of a shit fit and it's not always perfect but when it works it works so sometimes the some of the loads don't want to work so it just means you have to change cargo or something again it looks like this time it did did work again this time, so that's uh, that's gravy. Right, London. Where did we say we was gonna go? Le Mans. There's the cottage cheese right there. So that is as simple as it is. Like I said, download. Make sure that you put it into a extract to a folder on the desktop, like right there. Then go into the folder down to the bottom. Then left click, then right click, copy, make shortcut, and then once you've done that, do your save buttons in the game. Then once you've done that, then come back here, put your path in, make sure it is the quick save, not the auto save. Hit load, then set where you want to start, company, destination, company, then the cargo, add cargo, save. Make sure it says file save. Go back into the game, hit the quick load button, whichever one you've set it to, and then go to the freight market. Click on the place where you are, and it should load up. Thank you guys and girls for watching. I've been Dr. Dave. You guys have been amazing, and we will catch you on the next video. Bye for now.